So how surprised are you to be to be back right now? Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm a little surprised. Well, you know, because for a while we all thought uh, it wasn't looking good. And um, I was actually in Australia while the whole thing was sort of going on. So I, I missed a good portion of what all the fans did. and But I heard about it. And um, I know that I, I speak for everyone when I say we're all so grateful and thankful for what the fans did for our show. So when we last saw Sarah, it left a little bit on a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. She was sort of forced to choose between Bryce and Chuck, and that decision was sort of made for her mm -hmm. uh, in a way. Um, do you enjoy playing the, the tension, or did you enjoy playing the tension in that love triangle? Yeah, I, I, all that stuff is really great. Um, anytime there's a love triangle, like when Rachel Wilson came on the show as well, and that was a love triangle, it, it's... It just adds another layer to uh, the Chuck Sarah love story, and um, and you know you get to explore things like jealousy and, and how each of our characters sort of react to a third person being thrown into the mix, and I know we've got a bit of that coming up in this third season as well, so that should be fun. I mean, in the first season, Sarah seemed fairly enigmatic. We didn't know very much about her past. Um, in the second season, we did learn a little bit about her. Uh, when Gary Cole came in and played your father. Um, how much did you know about Sarah's past going into the second season? I knew nothing about Sarah's past. We don't get told anything, really, until we get the script handed to us. And that's usually, you know, a week at most before we start shooting it. So it, it's as much of a surprise to me uh, as it is to anyone, because you know, we, don't, we don't get told. So. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm always excited to hear what they have come up with, because you, you never know. I certainly don't. The show is a mix of, of genres ranging from romance and comedy and action. There's something really for everybody. Um, which of those aspects do you enjoy playing the most? Uh, I probably, like our audience members, I enjoy all of them at once. I, I, I can't pick just one that's kind of my favorite. I I really I love doing all the spy stuff. The stunt work is great. Um, the romantic stuff is great. I, I love the scenes where we get to where, where it's actually a really long sort of scene, and, and you know it's between Chuck and I, and you know it kind of gets juicy or emotional. And those are really really fun to sink your teeth into. And the comedy stuff I'm not really that involved with. I'm not. Into, I kind of am the serious one on the show. But when I do get a small chance to, to dabble in the comedy, that's also fun. So I know when I sat down with you in season one, um, the guys were teasing you used to do a, a kind of crump dance. Oh, do yeah. you still do the crump dance between <laughs> scenes? A little, yeah. The crump comes out. <laughs> so when we walked over here, I passed the, the orange orange set. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming Sarah still works still at the, the orange orange? orange. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us so far about season three in terms of the, the themes? The themes. Where are we finding these characters? What kind of emotional context? I think it, it's a lot deeper than it ever has been. You know, season one and two, we, we got to know the characters. We got to know that Sarah liked Chuck, Chuck liked Sarah. And now it's kind of getting to a level of love and... The stakes are a lot higher, and you know, like like you said, in at the end of season two, Sarah was kind of ready to maybe uh, give it all up for Chuck, and she was, she, you know, she, she's she's maybe ready to give up the whole CIA thing for him. And now that he has this new intersect in his brain, I think it's kind of upsetting for her. And now he's going to become like her when initially everything that she liked about him was his innocence and the fact that he wasn't involved in this crazy spy world full of bad people and negative energy. She liked him because he was always genuine and now I think she, in this third season she's scared of losing that and, um, and, and and because of that maybe she wants to hold on a little bit more. So you you that's where we are kind of in this third season. Sarah seems to be in some ways a super heroic ideal for Chuck and like you were saying she seems to strive towards being more of a normal girl. Mm -hmm. um, he seems to be on the opposite trajectory. Um, does that, that push and pull, do you find that interesting in terms of acting, 
that yeah. dynamic out with Zach? You know, I never actually thought about it from that angle. Um, but that is very interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I never looked at it as Sarah striving for normality because she just can't be that. It's just she's unable to do that bec- circumstantially because she is a CIA agent and she's just not allowed, I guess, unless she creates a big, you know, runaway scheme and literally runs away from the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that, that definitely, especially in this third season, now that he's got this new intersect in his, in his brain, he wants to become a super spy and I think Sarah's dreading that. She thought, she thought maybe that it was going to be, it, it was time for them to kind of run away and be normal and finally address their feelings for each other and it's just gone completely the opposite way. So what are you, what are you most looking forward to then about the third season? Uh, well, I'm looking forward to delving into the, the raw sort of emotions um, between Chuck and Sarah and also, you know, the, there are a couple of people that end up getting brought into the spy wall um, that didn't necessarily know about it in the first place. So there's plenty of interesting scenarios that we can delve into with that one. Uh, and yeah, more, more action stuff, more, more fights.